a shave with the Parasso Shave Travel Kit, coming up next. Hi YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere, it's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. This time around we're going to have a shave with the Parasso Shave Travel Kit. I talked about this in a previous Monday morning mailbag. Before we get to this though, hey, thanks very much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and comments. I hope you find the videos to be informative and instructional, also uh, inspiring. I hope you I hope the videos inspire you to uh, get a safety razor and to try the traditional wet shave. It really is a great way to shave. And speaking of a great way to shave, Parasso always has great products, always offers great products to give you an absolutely great, great shave. And this is their shave travel kit right here. It comes with some very, very small travel size items that will allow you to get a great shave while you're traveling on the road. It comes with, uh, looks like Parasso White Shaving Cream, a very small tube of shaving cream. It also comes with a very small container of their pre-shave. And it also comes with a container of the aftershave balm. All in a nice little cardboard container. Came shipped to me just like this. It also came with a very small bore shaving brush right here. And that's what this is right here. Now I decided to kind of use the shortcut to hopefully break this in. This is going to be my first shave with this. So I soaked this in a cup of cold water and placed it in the refrigerator. Soaked it up to about here. Just placed the water, water with line was about here. Didn't cover the entire handle, but I left that in the refrigerator for about three, four days. So that helps to speed the break-in process of a bore brush. So it's been soaking in the sink, and all we're going to use are these items here for the shave. Now I am going to use my Parker A1R Travel Safety Razor, because we're emphasizing small here. We're going to try to recreate a, a travel shave, a shave on the road, so to speak. So everything we're going to be using here is just the elements, items from the travel shave kit here, the shave travel kit from Parasso, the Parker A1R Travel Razor. I am going to use, though, a travel size Allen block. I'm going to throw this in as well because I would use an Allen block on the road. So here's my GBS Allen block in a travel case. So let's go ahead and open up this Parker A1R. You can see it's a four-piece razor, two pieces for the handle, and of course the other two pieces are the actual razor head, cap, and base plate. So we're going to take that out right now. There is my cap and base plate right there. I'm going to set that down. I'm going to pull out one part of the handle here, and I'm, in order to expedite removing it, I just like to screw it in like that and pull the other part of the handle out like that. Let me set the case aside here, uh, out of the way so it doesn't get wet. So there's the handle. Again, it comes together in two pieces. Let me show you. It's a really terrific travel razor, okay? Bottom is hollow, top is hard, is solid rather. Okay, there it is right there. And uh, here's the razor head, base plate and cap. Now, we're going to be using a Gillette Platinum blade. These are the Swedes. Gillette Platinum Swedes. These were sent to us very kindly by viewer Beth Jones. Thank you again, Beth. Really do appreciate it. These are oh, wonderful blades. These are absolutely wonderful. Available Bull Goose Shaving, I believe. And they are fantastic. So let me open this up and get this going here. And load this razor because uh, it is a terrific travel razor. It really is a fine razor. It gives a nice shave, very efficient. I've reviewed it before while well, I was on the road at Hocking Hills, Ohio. Okay, so let's make sure that this is a Gillette blade right here. Let me show you here like this, okay? There it is there, Gillette. Let me rock that back and forth so you can see that label there. Okay, so let me get the, uh, let me get the cap right here like this. Okay, here it is right here. Okay, gonna set that in there like that. Okay, and here is the, uh, the base plate, go right on there like that. Okay, the end tabs are very, very nearly enclosed. 
And we're going to go ahead and attach this handle. There we go. Just snug that up. And uh, boy, that's, ter that's terrific. Blade balance and alignment is wonderful. Really, really looking forward to this shave. A really nice size razor too. Perfect for travel. And a, and a, and a beautiful case. You saw the case is really, really well made. A nice leather case. A Parker A1R. Really, check it out. I'll have a link below for it. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and wet the face. We're going to start with the uh, Parasso pre-shave cream, and then we're going to make a lather with the brush using the Parasso shave cream. So uh, let's uh, wet the face and let's get to the shave. All righty. Now some wet shavers from what I can see, wet their face uh, before they put this pre-shave on. Others don't. They just put it on dry. I like to wet my face and put it on wet. Okay, so we're going to use, they give you a nice amount there. And about that much, I think, is all I'm going to need. Okay, so we have, a, we have enough here, it looks like. So... Boy, that's got a nice mental kick to it. <laughs> that really does. Wow, that might have been <laughs> a little too much. Starting to feel it in my eyes a little bit. I got about two days worth of growth. And believe me, I am looking forward to this shave. So I'm just going to get a little more. I think I can just put a little more on there. Yeah, that's nice coverage. Now, I'm the, I, I wet my face, and it really helps to spread this out a little bit more evenly for me. And I can conserve it a little bit, although I had to dip in there again. But that's, that sets up nicely. I've got a towel here just to wipe my hands off, just in case. All right, now here's what I'm going to do with the, uh, with the shaving cream. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to take a little bit like this, and I'm going to dab it right there, dab it right there. Dab it right there. I'm going to treat this as not having a, uh, a scuttle or a uh, shaving bowl. Just a little bit around the face. And I'm going to do a face lather. Okay? So I seem to have enough there. Let me get my brush out here like this. Wring it out a little bit. Okay? And I'm going to just get a little more like this just a little more come on there it goes a little more and I'm going to put that little bit right there in the bristles okay so we got enough water on there I can always add water as I go and uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and start the face lathering I'm going to need some water. Little more water. This is a really good test because I've got, like as I say, I've got two days worth of beard growth here. I think that whisker is also, you know, kind of getting in the way of this lather, so to speak. But that's good. It's starting to really, yeah, starting to give me a nice lather. A little more, a little more, a little more water. Just like that. I'm really dipping a brush in there. I'm really adding water. I need I need water.
seems to be overflowing the handle a little bit. Well, took a little while, but boom, lather, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, there we are right there. I don't know if we have enough for pass number two. We'll find out after I'm done with this first pass. Again, I got a lot of whisker, so it really, I think that this brush may have been at a little bit of a disadvantage because of that, but that's okay. It's a good test. It still seemed to build a nice lather. I think a... Uh, a brush, just observation right now, a brush that's a little more substantial, a little larger, probably will lathered up a little more. All right, here's my razor. We're going to heat it under some hot, 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 hot water. Well, I haven't used this razor in some time. I really, really like this. I like the knurling on the handle. I like the, uh, just like the knurling on the handle, like the overall design. Really gives a nice grip. Okay, terrific white. Terrific weight, really, really terrific. Good heft for a travel razor. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Boy, that is nice and mild and efficient. The lather is offering a lot of protection as well as the pre-shave. Perfect blade for it. Wow, yeah, two days worth of growth, boy. Well, that's a nice first pass. The menthol from the menthol and eucalyptus from this pre-shave is wonderful. It gave a giving a really nice, uh, lively feeling to the skin. All right, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. Well, you know what? Not quite a socially acceptable shave. I mean, uh, definitely going to need a second pass. Not sure if I have enough on this brush to accomplish that. We'll see. Eh. Nope. Looks like I'm going to have to dip back into the shaving cream. And I might as well use a little more pre-shave just to uh, help things along. Like that. A little bit like that. All right. Okay, that's nice. And we're going to get a little more here. About that, about that much right there. Okay. And we'll put the rest of that in the brush like that. Okay, let's see. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we're going to need a little water here.
little more water. It seems that this brush likes to drink up that water and make that lather. So because we used uh, a second round of shaving cream there, and you can see there's enough on this brush here. Okay. Well, two in a row. Boom! Lather! <laughs> How about that? That is, that's terrific! Okay, and I use a little more shaving cream, but this, this did a nice job of building that lather again. Alrighty. Okay, so we're going to go uh, with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Round the chin, no problem at all. Boy, this blade is wonderful. Nicely maneuverable underneath the nostrils. Again, the end tabs of this razor do not get in the way. You can just barely feel them on the ends of the razor head, but they don't get in the way at all. And uh, that's a terrific uh, second pass. Usually it's my money pass. I'll know after this whether or not I need a third pass or not. So second pass done. Let's rinse. I am going to need a little bit of a touch-up. Little bit of a touch up. We're going to go ahead with that. We're going to use what's on here. It also, is a good test to see if there is enough retained here in the brush to give me, oh yeah, to give me a uh, a little bit of a lather for uh, the third pass. A nice third pass, a touch up, a light, light touch up. I think right now I'm a darn fine shave status. Well, that's great. Look at that. More than enough for the for uh, pass number three from that second shave cream load, so to speak. And that's terrific. A nice, nice lather will give me nice protection, nice coverage. All righty. Okay, that's got it. And again, it looks like I've got, looks like I've got some lather on there. We'll check after the shave how much is left down there. Again, I did two, two loads of uh, shave cream there. All right, so here we go with uh, pass number three. We're going to go south to north against the grain. Oh, I, I love, I love this pass. Uh, absolutely love this razor. Love Parasso. Love the shave cream and the pre-shave. It's wonderful. And again, the pre-shave has got that eucalyptus and menthol in it, giving me a. It's got a really nice kick to it. Beautiful kick.
Oh, that's terrific. Oh, I love this razor. You can bet if I travel, I'm taking this. Well, I did. I went to Hocking Hills and I used it. It was just fantastic. Shaved down there with this with this razor. It's absolutely wonderful. All right, third pass done. Let's rinse. Boy, that's a nice result. That's a nice shave. Smooth, mild, close. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation that I can see of right now. Usually, you know, maybe I'll get a phantom nick every once in a blue moon. Eh, I don't think we're going to get any of those. I'm going to do my two final rinses. One warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse to uh, get, all, get rid of all this excess slickness. Warm water rinse. Ah, that's great. All right, I'm going to flip it to the cold water side. And do my uh, cold water rinse. Yeah, that's good and cold. And I, I expect a little bit of a, a kick from the cold water because of the because of the, uh, the eucalyptus and menthol in here. All right, cold water rinse. Uh, oh yeah, that was great. Clean fresh towel waiting for me right here. Boy, that's a <laughs> that's a nice shave. Wow, two days worth of growth. Boy, that really knocked it down. All right, let's uh, let's use the uh, Allen block here, the GBS Allen block. This is a travel size. We're gonna run this under some cold water. See what kind of feedback we get. Uh, any stinging, any zinging, that sort of thing. All right, here we go. No stinging at all. Maybe, I don't even know if I could call that a zing or not. Some nice bracing from its astringent qualities, but no, no, no stinging, no zinging. I don't get those any zings. Boy, that's that's a nice smooth shave. Smooth, close. Boy, that's fantastic. I so look forward to this shave. I don't like having that much beard growth on my face. I just I just don't like it. I'm just it's so satisfying to shave it off and to have a nice uh, just to have a nice clean shaven result. Boy, that's just terrific. All right, so I dried this uh Ellen block off, got rid of the excess moisture, and it's going to go back into its its case here. And I'll just leave that open, let that air dry, as I would too if I were on the road. I would let that air dry overnight. Let's take a look at this brush here, okay? Before you know what? Before we do that, I'm going to use the aftershave balm. Let's use the aftershave balm right now, okay? Here it is, right here. What do they give you? They give you 0.8 fluid ounces here in this. So. All right, that's what we have. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just use a about, now that's long enough, ooh, about that much there. Okay, and we'll carry some upstairs as well. Need a head shave, but uh, might as well do this as well. Might do one later on today, maybe tomorrow. That was a good shave. That was a really, really good shave. Well, we all know the, the, the ingredients here, the different uh, items, the, uh, the, the, the pre shave. We know the pre shave. If you've used Paraso, you know the pre shave is wonderful, and you know that the uh, shaving cream is, uh, is terrific. And their aftershave and their aftershave balm is uh, absolutely wonderful, wonderful 
top shelf stuff. I guess the big question was this shaving brush. If this shaving brush was going to carry the day or not. Let's see what we have left over here. Now we have, well, we got some little peaks there. Yeah, got some little peaking there. Uh, it's a bore brush, and I've always found bore brushes to be good. Uh, but when I compare them with synthetic brushes, uh, what happened with this bore brush usually happens with a lot of the bore brushes I use. They don't seem to carry the lather over from first pass to second pass. I usually have to reload them with a little bit of shaving cream or shaving soap. It's not a big deal. That's not a deal breaker at all because it was soft and it did do a good job. Now, the, uh, the disadvantage that this brush had because of its size was the fact that I had two days worth of beard growth. And I said the beard growth was getting kind of, was sort of getting in the way. What I meant was is that the, I had a lot of whisker there that the lather had to cover and and uh, and protect. So uh, this was doing a little this was this was doing a little more than I think uh, uh, it should have been called to do. In other words, one day's worth of beard growth, this would have been fine. That second pass uh, probably would be would have been the equivalent, more or less, of one day's worth of beard growth for me. Um, in between first pass and second pass. Um, and uh, I think that this, you saw in the second pass when I reloaded it, the brush did a fine job in developing a lather. I just think that I had so much beard growth there that it was called upon to, uh, to really, really build that lather. But it still built that lather and it did a fine job. Uh, you know what? This is not a bad little shaving brush. I wish it was a little larger. I really do. I wish this handle was a little larger, and I wish the knot was a little larger. Uh, boy, to say this is a travel brush, that's really an understatement. This is really a travel brush. All these ingredients are really uh, travel, travel size. So if you're economizing and you are really, really pressed for space, uh, boy, this will really give you some top shelf quality items so you can get a, a shave on the road. Uh, but uh, let's face it, there are some other better alternatives out there that will give you, um, that won't take up as much, as much room. Might take up a little more space, but it'll give you a little more uh, quantity. A, sh a good shaving stick will give you <laughs> many, many more shaves than this tube right here. The, uh, the Cube 2.0 or the Tube 2.0, uh, you could you could just uh, cut off a hunk of this and take this, and this would be a great, great pre-shave, especially the mentholated one. Or if you have one that's small enough to go into a, a small storage case, uh, that would be great. Uh, shave stick, uh, cube, um, you have a lot of different uh, aftershaves that you can place in containers of this size that will uh, really uh, give you a little more quantity uh, as well as good quality. Uh, yeah, I think that this is not bad in a pinch. If you need something right away, you're going to be going out of town in a day or two and you don't want to try to root around and find all these items, other items at a big box store or online. You can just order this and know that you have enough for several shades. Now, how many shades am I going to get from this shaving cream? I don't know. I might get another maybe two or three shaves based on what I use today. Uh, if I have, uh, I would say uh, probably, a good, probably a good three shaves uh, if I'm shaving every day. Of course, I waited for, uh, I had two days worth of growth, which is why I think I use a little more um, to get things going. Uh, I think the three shave, you have more than enough in here for the three shave. And I used it twice. So let's take a look at what we have left there. You know, we have more than enough left in there. Yeah, that, I, think, I think that is good value. For the for the kit, I think the brush is is good. It's all good in a pinch. This uh, aftershave foam, there's a, probably enough here for another four or five shaves, I would think, depending on how much you use. Uh, of course, I use some for upstairs as well, so that's gonna take a little more out of the bottle uh, to get that extra coverage up there. But all oh, I think it's a nice travel kit. For $15. Now there have been some reviews on Amazon where they say it's a ripoff because of the size. I think that's the key here, the size. They're giving you something very, very small that you can 
travel lightly uh, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. You figure you, you take this and you take the, uh, the travel razor and you get this uh, Allen block and a small pack of blades and you know what, you're good to go. It doesn't take up a lot of space and you've, you have plenty here for some great shaves for say a weekend getaway. Uh, three, four days, something like that. Anything longer than that, you're probably going to have to look at something that uh, is a little more substantial. A brush that's a little more substantial. I would prefer taking something like the uh, the Green Ray. A little larger, but uh, you know what? I'm going to get some great shapes. If I'm going to be gone for, like, say, 10 days, something like that. Um, and uh, as I say, a shave stick and... Uh, the, uh, something like the Cube, or even the uh, Parasso Pre-Shave, just put it in a larger jar. There are some other jars out there that you can get that are a little larger. Um, so it's not really a bad shaving kit at all for the price. For 15 bucks, it's not bad at all. Uh, I just happen to think that, I just, I just wish, I just wish that they gave you a little more shave cream and they gave you, uh, and the brush was a little larger. Uh, the balm and the uh, pre-shave, you can always buy those in the larger containers and refill these. That's not a problem. I just wish that uh, they would give you a little more, a little larger tube for the shave cream. And I wish the brush was a little larger. A little larger handle, a little larger knot, and then I think that would really, really work well. Further than that, for $15, it's not bad. Yes, as I mentioned, there are some other better alternatives out there, I think, that are a little more substantial in size and quantity of product, but uh, not, this is not too bad uh, for uh, a weekend getaway, three, four days, something like that. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so we will give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out the executive shaving company. Use the code Mark5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George. Other cartoons, other videos like this. I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out vikingsblade.com for some great shaving gear. Check out Global Shave Clubs International for some great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Ready, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized, so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.